Could you flip a bike for money, buying it cheap, selling it for double price? Well, let's find out. We're going to believe these brakes based on Johnson's baby oil. The idea started at a pump track with some friends when I met a guy named Lukas. He flips bikes in his free time. Since I've broken my arm and I can't do much else, I decided to join him in buying cheap bikes and selling them for double the price. The question is, will it work? After that lucky encounter, I spent hours on Facebook Marketplace trying to find a bike for cheap that would be easily serviceable. Well, 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 guess what they've got here? 80 bucks. I mean, he got it first at 250, then on message I just got to 150. We ended up just getting it to 120, but then I got there and the derailleur isn't really good. The hydraulic brakes, well, one is cable, one is hydraulic. Uh, we got it to 80. I mean, check it out. All right, and this is what 80 euros gets you. So this is a 2007 Specialized Hard Rock Pro. It's an alloy frame. Although it might seem scratched, this is the original paint of the frame. Has no scratches. I see no visible cracks, so it's good. It has a Marzocchi MZ race. It's a coils fork. It has preload adjustment lockout in one of the extensions and uh, well he needs some service but it's a Marzocchi so this thing is made to endure and last. Also it has some specialized original wheels which actually do seem very good and actually the, the rear hub was probably replaced it's an XT from Shimano that's good. Besides that well it has no grips the brakes don't do anything look at the front brake I think it doesn't even have oil on it needs some care onto the suspension, brought some SPD pedals, some clip pedals, well, what's that? Uh, it has a straight pipe chain onto it, the derailleur is non-existent and it needs a lot of care. So I think now what we need is we have the main components of the bike are very good, the frame is good, suspension is good and also the wheels, but all the other things need kind of to be replaced. So. Let's do a list of things we need to buy, go to the store, and before actually putting hands on this, we need to acquire the components. Let's go. With a list of parts I needed in hand, I went to all the nearby shops to find the best deals available. When it came to the pedals, I practically visited every bike shop in town, hoping to exchange them for flat ones. Since this bike is aimed for casual riders rather than advanced cyclists, swapping out the clip pedals should make it more appealing to the potential buyers. Okay, so we came from the store and our total is 42 euros and 19 cents. Now, what have you bought with this 42? euros we bought a saddle for 14 euros it's a brand new saddle it's the only part we're not going to have right now because i ordered at the catalan and it's coming out tomorrow so we're going to pick it up tomorrow today we don't have this but now we had a derailleur we bought a x3 from sram it's a nine speed it's going to fit there very well it was 12 euros bloody cheap then we got a chain i know it's an eight speed but that's a nine speed What's the difference? It has the same amount of links. It's gonna fit there. It was how much? Seven euros and 90 cents. Then we also needed a fresh new gear cable. That was like four euros, very cheap too. We managed to exchange the SPD pedals, the clip ones for some of these. We came across a couple of shops and uh, well, I think these are kind of kids paddles, but who the hell is going to buy that bike and actually wear some clip shoes? So yeah, we needed some flat paddles. Now, we bought black paint and this came on a cost of 349. Why did we want this? Because we needed some hydraulic brakes for the bike. And I went to my friend's house, Gonzalo, a very well-known guy here on the channel already. Um, he got us some Shimano brakes Dior 
Um, well, they have pads. I think they're working properly. I just need to bleed them. Um, yeah, this cost me, guess what? Two beers. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, he also had laying around some old grips. That bike doesn't have grips. This came with uh, the cost of another beer. So, well, thanks a lot, Gonzalo. You're the man, you're just doing it all right. Now, the levers are kind of rusty, so I'm gonna send them out and with this black paint pennant on top of it, maybe they're gonna look brand new. So, we got parts, we got everything. Let's pretend to work. Let's get into the brakes. We need to send off the levers because there's a lot of rust in them. For that, we need to send them off, mask it out, a couple of spray paints on him, and bleed these brakes. For this not to get messy, we're gonna get this one over it. Bit of a sandpaper on it. And wow, there we go. Two hours later. Couldn't be better than that. It'd be nice if we could actually do some money with it. We didn't spend too much. Um, maybe if we could do 150 euros on a complete bike. The photos we'll have to sell it too, but it would be very nice. It would be very nice. Well, got to do a lot of things tomorrow, but still, still need to give a bit of a coating to this. It's, it's looking good. Looking good. Hey, good morning. Well, guess our uh, our paint jobs ended up pretty good. Ended up painting also the um, the uh, bottle holder because it was a bit a little scratch, and I had time last night, so I actually gave it a paint. Give it a third layer to the brakes. You're looking very good. Now I received a call this morning that the saddle has just arrived on the Catalan. So you didn't just have breakfast, remove all the masking to see how good it came out. And uh, I'm gonna pick up the saddle. Let's go, put hands to work. Sunday morning, beautiful sunny day. Let's go. Seems to be the originals. Just check out how well it's working. And I mean, it's an old bike with an unbent hanger and a 12 euro derailleur. I mean, it's just working perfectly. Check it out. All the gears come down. Perfect. Well, that's a little bit of trouble there, but couldn't ask better. I mean, it does noise because of the three things out at the front. And uh, well, the caliper is still loose, so. Let's put hands on to the brakes now, because that's, that's the best part of the video. Come on. In order to my friend Gonzalo, who exchanges these brakes and also the grips for just three beers, we're gonna bleed these brakes based on Johnson's baby oil. Welcome to the ultimate guide on how to bleed brakes using any fluid you've got at home. In this case, Johnson's baby oil. Oh, there it is. Isn't that made for babies? Yep, 
attach it properly and well, let it flow. Look at my face, happy kid. And that's me barking about how much better and cheaper than actual mineral oil this option is. Please, don't try to replicate my silly ideas at home. This cannot withstand high breaking temperatures. You can die. Anyways, let's continue. Well, I don't think that's it really. I mean, the bike didn't have brakes that stopped the bike. Now it has. The gears were non-existent and didn't even have a, a derailleur on it. Uh, the pedals were clipped for somebody that was probably going to ride flat pedals. The headset is serviced. All the other things are cleaned. You actually have a seat now that you can actually put your ass on it. And, uh, well, I think it's fine. Just needs to be tested now. Oh, check it out. With a bike finished, I needed to test it properly before listing it. However, due to my broken wrist, I had to call in some friends for assistance. expecting this beginner's mountain bike to withstand the consecutive abuse of hard casing asphalt rollers. But it did. Gonzalo and Oliver certainly prove that this bike is safe for someone to use in their daily activities, so it's time to put it up for sale. Knowing that crude photos will make up to 50% of this bike's sale, I put as much effort as I could to capture its best angles. Guess what? We sold the bike, yes, today for 300 euros. I mean, we listed the bike on Sunday, Sunday night. We got some messages on Monday, also today on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, today's Tuesday. It's three days, we sold the bike in three, no, two and a half days, because it was listed Sunday afternoon. We listed on Marketplace and a good couple of other websites to sell secondhand stuff here around in Portugal. And uh, well, I mean, I bought the bike at 80 euros, got 42 euros in new parts. If you count with Johnson's baby oil, which was a heck of an investment, it was four euros in oil, uh, which leave us with a total cost for the bike of 122 euros. Sold it today for 300, makes us a profit of 177 euros. That's marvelous for my first bike flip. That's an encouragement for you guys at home to actually do bike flips. Uh, well, it was a fun adventure. Don't know when the second version will come out. If you guys actually enjoyed the video, maybe I'll actually do a second one. But anyways, shout out to Lucas. Lucas is still selling his bikes. Lucas is the guy who convinced me into bike flipping old bikes and putting new parts and selling them again uh, at the pump track. So he has a more Woods full suspension 26 inch bike. If you're interested, I'm gonna leave the listing down below. Maybe you need to be from Portugal to actually purchase the bike, but I'm gonna still leave the listing down below, half hot kid. And well, maybe on the future, maybe on the future, I'll probably get another video of this. I made profit, gonna invest it back into the videos. That's fun for me. On that note, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.